Hi guys and welcome to my next Synology tutorial. This tutorial is how to get remote access to your Synology for free. So stay tuned for how to do that and in this tutorial I'll be talking about how to do it using automatic port forwarding which the Synology has built in. Uh, for this to work you have to have a router that is compatible but most routers that have UPnP universal plug and play functionality is compatible. So you should be good to go but if not uh, stay tuned on my channel because I'll be doing a video on how to do it manually. So let's get started. Okay the first thing you have to do is make sure that UPnP on your router is turned on. And the way you do that is by going into File Explorer you then click on Network and you find your router and right click and go to the device web page. Now you're in your router's web page and you may have to log in but the uh, username is almost always admin and the password is written somewhere on the router. You then have to find where it says UPnP and make sure that UPnP is turned on and then you're done with this. Okay now when UPnP is on go to File Explorer again, go to Network and you have to make sure that uh, your server is connected to your router with a LAN. You find your disk station this is my disk station. I right click it and go to the device web page. And up here you can see your server IP address. You can just remember this so you don't have to go into the network portal again. Okay. On your server, go to your application list and find this easy internet application. Open that up and just wait for it to load then click next and in this case I'm connecting through a router and it fills these automatically so just click next okay so it found my router and it found my model and this shows that the router is compatible and it shows that it has found the UPnP functionality so click next In order for the, your Synology to become uh, public so you can access it remotely, you have to find the one of this protocol. Um, you have to find the one that says Management UI. This is part 5000 and it is uh, selected automatically already. You then have to select the part 80 and this is the only port you need but depending on what apps you are uh, going to use with your server you may have to enable additional functionality uh, like if you want to use the video station application with your mobile devices uh, just enable this uh, video station protocol if you have to uh, use the like download station with which is uh, this bit turned just enable both of these and when you have enabled the parts that uh, you are going to use just click next then uh, you have to select this create a Synology account and register a host name uh, but only do this if you already if you don't already have a host name and account click next then you have to fill out these uh, fields with your host name uh, I already have a host name but my host name is this my name and I have this myds.me okay so you just fill these out and click next and then you will be registered and you'll have a host name and set everything up okay as you can see it's done now and um, now everything should be set up so I'll just click finish and just to check I'll open up control panel and going to external access 
and as you can see my uh, host name is now registered under this ddns tab and under router configuration i have uh, port 5000 so i'll just use this address this is my url so i just copy this and open up a new tab and paste it in and hopefully it will load my Synology and it does so now everywhere in the world if I have an internet connection I can connect to my Synology okay so this has been the automatic port forwarding tutorial guide and if you didn't have a router with a UPnB functionality uh, remember to stay tuned to my channel as I'll be doing uh, a manual port forwarding tutorial next and it'll be coming out in the following days and um, thanks for watching and remember to thumbs up and like the video see you in the next video